The Trump administration declared on Monday that the United States does not consider Israeli settlements in the West Bank a violation of international law, reversing four decades of American policy and removing what has been an important barrier to annexation of Palestinian territory. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said calling the establishment of civilian settlements inconsistent with international law has not advanced the course of peace. After carefully studying all sides of the legal debate, this administration agrees with President Reagan. The establishment of Israeli civilian settlements in the West Bank is not, per se, inconsistent with international law. He said legality of individual settlements should be decided by the Israeli courts and claimed that the U.S. declaration would not prejudice an ultimate comprehensive settlement between Israelis and Palestinians. Pompeo even suggested the move would provide the very space for Israelis and Palestinians to come together to find a political solution. The announcement was the latest political gift from the Trump administration to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has vowed in two elections this year to push for the annexation of the West Bank. Netanyahu said the policy shift rights a historical wrong. Meanwhile, the European Union's foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini, criticized the American policy shift and maintained that the settlements were illegal and eroded the chances for peace. She called on Israel to end all settlement activities in line with its obligations as an occupying power. And Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi of Jordan, which is the custodian of Muslim holy sites in Jerusalem, said on Twitter that the settlements kill two-state solution efforts. Crisis that seem impossible to be solved. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister's office issued a statement condemning the U.S. decision to legalize Israel's illegal settlements as it will victimize Palestinians further. Tundok Mahade said the reversal was a blatant disregard of international laws and multiple United Nations resolutions. He expressed fears that the Trump administration's announcement will further embolden Israeli forces that have been killing Palestinians and instead reward them with the setting up of settlements on the land of the people they have killed.